Hey there, Steve Conrad here with Fit Culture Studio. I just wanted to go over a few exercises today for the end of the summer fat blast. Today's workout that we're going to cover is the legs and butt exercise. So the first exercise you're going to want to do is the body weight squat. To do a squat, feet are going to be positioned just outside shoulders width distance apart. Hands you're going to hold right up on the shoulders, making sure you keep the chest up and the shoulders back. To do the squat, you're going to shift the hips back slightly, drop down, and straight back up as if you were sitting in a chair and coming out of it. If that's a little difficult for you to get full range of motion, go ahead and shorten the movement and only come part way down until it feels comfortable enough to drop into that full range. For this exercise, you're going to do 20 reps and then take about a 15 to 30 second recovery. After that, we're going to switch into our second exercise, the alternating reverse lunge. To set up a reverse lunge, take one wide step back and then drop that back knee down towards the ground. Always keeping the chest up, thinking good posture. Alternate legs with each rep. If you need to modify this exercise and going down is a little bit too difficult, same with the squat, simply limit the range of motion to what you can manage and continue to switch. Eventually, we'd like you to work into a deeper range of motion, but only do what you feel comfortable doing at this point. With that exercise, you're gonna go 30 reps, 15 on each leg, and then take another 15 to 30 second recovery. Then we're going into the jump squat. Position your feet the same as you would for the squat, just outside shoulders width distance. You're gonna drop down, trying to bring the elbows to the thighs and jump up into the air. And from the side. If you want to make this one a little bit easier, similar to the lunge and the squat, simply shorten the range of motion. Or to make it more challenging, you can bring the palms all the way to the ground and then add the jump. Do 20 reps of the jump squats. Give yourself another 15 to 30 seconds recovery, and we'll switch into our next exercise the side lunge. For the side lunge, you're going to start with both feet together, take one wide step out to the side, shift the hips back just slightly, and drop down to that side. Come back to center, and then alternate. If the range of motion seems a little uncomfortable, similar to the other movements, Simply shorten that range to what you can manage and continue working into that range of motion as you progress. 20 reps with this exercise, 10 on each side. Our final exercise we're going to do is the glute bridge. For this one, you're going to lie on your back. Bring your heels into the butt. Lift those hips up and clench the glute and hamstrings. Pause for a second and come back down. Back up and down. If you would like to challenge yourself on this exercise, simply take one leg and extend it out straight and you can do each leg independently. Bringing the hips up, lowering them back down. This exercise, we're going for a total of 20 reps, or if you switch to single leg, you can choose 10 on each leg, or once you progress, you can move it up to 20 for each leg. Break another 15 to 30 seconds, and you're gonna go through each one of those exercises one more time for a total of two rounds. That is gonna be your legs and butt exercise for our end of the summer fat blast. 